Good evening, everyone. I'm not going to sing today. We have a much better singer tonight lined up. But this is a special edition. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. It's a quarantine concert series. I'm your host, Kabir Segel. This is my co-host, the incredible Srishta Segel, my mother. And we're coming here live from my mom's place. She's normally watching upstairs. It's true, without telling you. <laughs> mm -hmm. We need the full, this time you're watching, um, she's under strict instructions usually to give us all the Wi-Fi signal, but mm -hmm. how do you feel being on the quarantine concert series? Oh, I think it's an honor, <laughs> especially being with you now. Yeah. We've been doing this, what, what is this, 70? 72. Number, number 72, how about that? Yeah. 72. It was just yesterday. Yeah, it feels and like I it. And I meant just yesterday you were born. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, right. So mm -hmm. we want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And we're going to um, be wishing mothers, uh, mother, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that we're, um, that people are commenting on. We want to know the names of your mothers. If you're watching at home, tell, tell us the names of your mother. Tell us where you're watching from. We're going to be giving shout outs to all the mothers throughout the show. So the more mothers' names we see there, I'm just going to call them out. So all the, all the uh, love is out there for the mothers. All right. So let's just do the opening bit now. Um, what's the next thing we talk about? I'm flustered now that my mother's here. All right, so the, <laughs> the quarantine concert series. We started this. Um, we started this concert because all the gigs have gone away, and uh, we started this concert because we want to put the spotlight on the artists, on these incredible people who keep us motivated and encouraged throughout the year. Um, they give us their mind, body, and spirit and soul, and this is a way to make sure that they are feeling encouraged and motivated. Um, and because you know gigs have gone away, we're living in this time of quarantine. Yes, some states are opening up down here in Georgia. Georgia's kind of opening up, but the concert halls aren't. And, you know, there's gigs canceled into 2021. So this is, again, Concert 72 in 54-something days. Um, and we want to make sure that there's always a link between patrons and the artists. I wrote this column for Market Watch recently. Let's just take a look at it. Uh, become a patron of the arts to help the U.S. economy get back in tune. So if you can read that piece for some very concrete ways to help artists and support artists, there's been a link between patrons and artists back to the Middle Ages. Mm -hmm. And um, it's important to hire musicians, promote musicians, buy their music, buy their merchandise, buy the mouse pad, buy the hat, buy the fanny pack, buy the left sock, buy the right sock, just buy the merchandise, go on Patreon, support the artist, mm -hmm. um, and just be there for the artist, right? That's right. That's right. Thank All right. You. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 <laughs> All right. So we, we're two big fans of the artists here. And uh, we also want to say thanks to the people. What's the next slide? I forget what the slides are now. Is this a Mother's Day? Ah, yes. Happy Mother's ah. Day. Talking about artists, my mom and I, that's us on Holy. My mom and I write children's books together. And we've written now one, two, three, four, five children's books. That's right. How do you enjoy being an author? Oh, I love it. I think it's uh, even um, much nicer because it's a collaborative thing between you and I. And uh, we can address some things that are similar in culture, not just the differences. And uh, what, what are our books about? What's the gist of them? Well, since you showed the picture, that first one is called uh, Festival of Colors, which is about Holi, which is a festival in India in which uh, the differences are celebrated by um, colors. All colors are alike. All people are alike because the spirit is alive, the love is alike. So it's about the um, spring springtime when the new flowers and trees and uh, bushes and all of them are blossoming, the flowers are blossoming, uh, and there is a freshness in the air, the colors all around. So Today, glad you bring it down. Today was a nice springtime exactly. uh, day in Atlanta. It was a great uh, spring day to listen to the music of the wonderful artist, artist joining us today. She is a lady who is right for all seasons, not just spring. You can listen to her through all seasons. So we can't wait to introduce her. First, I want to say uh, a shout out to the mothers of Sandra and Camilo. Let's get them up on yes. the screen. There's um, Camilo's mother. Our heart goes out to you. Happy Mother's Day, Donna, and I think in Colombia right now. She is a hero to the community, involved in all kinds of social initiatives. So we love you, Camilo, and we love you, um, La Madre, La Madre yes. de Camilo. Okay, and so next we have um, very cool in shades. Very cool. She was the mother, the mother of Sandra. So mm -hmm. 
you're watching, we're in solidarity. Happy Mother's Day to La Madre de Sandra. All right. All Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Thanks to the folks at All About Jazz, to Simon Cassie's website, uh, Simon Cassie's concerts. Um, great jazz resource for jazz journalism. If you're an artist, go make an artist page. If you are a patron, go make a donation. The 25th anniversary. What do you get someone for the 25th anniversary? Is it gold? Sterling? What is it? Silver? I don't know. Love. Love. There you go. So a lot of love for All About Jazz. All right. Where can you... Um, oh, we've already start, started this quarantine film series. This is Conversations with Filmmakers. Uh, because all the film festivals are gone. So South by Southwest, Tribeca Film Festival, all canceled. So uh, tomorrow morning, we're having a conversation with TT the Artist. She's a filmmaker who has a new film that's uh, featured, featuring the music scene in Baltimore, the underground dance scene. So we, that's going to be at 11 a.m. Eastern. So again, just trying to put the spotlight on the filmmakers who will have the films appearing on your Netflix and Amazon and HBO in the weeks and months ahead. All right, so next up, we have a word of the day. We always do a word of the day. All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> there will be a pop quiz at the end of the show. If you can tell me and my mom what the word of the day is, you will get a prize. What is the prize? Prize is a puppy presenting your trophy. <laughs> all right? You know you want that prize, okay? So that's the pop quiz. All the words of the day are music words, music education, right? Right here. All right, so our artist today, her name begins with the L-A-U. So the word of the day is inspired by her. Let's look at it. What is it? It is Lauda, Lauda. Praise Loud, a hymn of praise. There will be some Lauda today, definitely some praise, because I know this artist is going to get a lot of praise from us and a lot of praise from all of you. So that is the word of the day, Lauda. Okay, where can you find us? You can find us on the Facebook. You can find us on the Twitter. You can also find us on the very delicious Instagram cracker. Make a marshmallow, s'more out of it. Very nice. Also on the LinkedIn, if you've lost your job, our heart goes out to you. A lot of people have lost jobs. Hopefully you'll stay with us and this music will inspire, encourage you to go crush your job search. All right, we're also on the YouTube, also on the Periscope. So this is what I do. This is my Periscope. I'm up Periscope, down Periscope. Very good. Left Periscope, right Periscope. All right. Nice. You know I'm weird. Okay. Very nice. So right. next, I want to be on the show, Facebook, Instagram. Hit me up. We'll try to get you on the show. Um, we're going to go to 100 shows. I think we're at 72, so we don't have that many left. But if you want to jump the line, you have to be a client of Sandra and Camilo. <laughs> That's how you jump the line. We'll work with them. We'll get you on the show. All right, now for the best part of the show, where we get to meet the great artists. I've known this artist for many years. Great dear friend, an accomplished artist, producer, composer from Massachusetts, has toured the world. You know, she writes her stuff. She's uh, an incredible, incredible thinker, conceptual artist, recently minted MBA, has her own record label, and um, maybe a paleontologist record label because she's named after Brontosaurus Records. So um, she's an incredible artist. I want everyone to put their hands together virtually for the maestra, Lauren Henderson. Welcome. Aww. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Happy Hi. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. So first, who would you like to give a shout out to for Mother's Day? The first person I have to give a shout out to is my mother, uh, Jeanette. And I love her so much. And my dad, who's with her, I'm sure. And also to all of my aunts. I'm not going to name all of them. And all of Alvin's aunts. And my mother-in-law, Elsie. We love you so much. Uh, Sarah Madden and Susie Stedman. And I'll stop there. And all the mothers out there, congratulations. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a wonderful day. Yes. We, we got all the crayons up there. So shout out to everyone. I first want to ask you about your mother. Tell her, tell us, which, how, how was she involved in um, sort of giving you the gift of music and your music education? Oh, she was involved in every way. Uh, we joke that my father was probably playing jazz to me from the womb, so she obviously participated in that. And um, she really ignited my passion for Latin jazz. Uh, we would listen to all sorts of records together, and she's very passionate. She, she and my aunt studied uh, piano growing up, so they are musical, and they have a lot of musical ability, although uh, my mother's not a professional. My aunt is a professional pianist, and uh, she retired from the New York Stock Exchange, and now she's pursuing a career as a jazz pianist, so I'm very proud of her as well. Wow. 
I'm incredible. Pretty cool, Amazing, huh? Amazing. Yeah. Second act. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. My, my mom was a professor and asked you to children's, children's book. Children's book, right. Yeah, yeah. author. So, mm-hmm. and a second act. I'm, I'm so honored to be interviewed by you, and I know about your incredible books that you two have written together, and I think it's amazing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so Well, next much. thing you know, you'll be playing with your family on your next, on your next record. So yeah, you don't know. Maybe. It'll happen. <laughs> tell, tell, us, uh, tell us, Lauren, um, how has the uh, quarantine affected you? What, what were you going to be doing that you can't do right now because of the quarantine? I would I would still be in Europe right now. I had a tour scheduled in in France, Italy, uh, Germany, and uh, Spain, and unfortunately everything was canceled. And so I'm so sorry that I missed those performances. But I'm sure when it's safe, I'll be able to return. And I really look forward to that. But yes, I would I would be in Europe right now, maybe having a. A delicious meal <laughs> somewhere exactly and then also um how has um how have you structured your day what is one day like uh in lauren henderson quarantine life how do you do you, do you make your bed every day do you go for a walk what's the routine i make my bed every single day i'm a very neat person maybe uh my husband would argue maybe a little too neat <laughs> so i'm always cleaning i like everything organized uh, so when I wake up, I make my bed. Uh, I've I've had very different weeks. Uh, the things that I'm trying to keep up is working out, staying healthy, eating right when I can, and also allowing myself to splurge and be in my feelings from time to time with a little bit of Ben and Jerry's or whatever you need. And uh, definitely writing. I've been writing a lot. I, I feel like I was a bit more creative towards the beginning, and I'm sort of just taking a deep breath from that and getting organized on different fronts. Wonderful. We already have a question from uh, Sam on Instagram. Wants to know your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor. <laughs> oh, I have so many. Uh, my my favorite is coffee, coffee, buzz, 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 and fish food. Fish, okay. And <laughs> you ever had that? I've never had it. Never had it. What is fish food? I haven't food? heard of it either. Fish food is so good. They have these chocolate fish and I think there's caramel it's chocolate ice cream and maybe a little bit of brownie and then there's a brand new flavor that I just got from Whole Foods that might be my favorite but I think it's called the late show or the tonight show but I'll have to get back to you and let you know what it is I just get up sometimes at 3 a.m and scoot over (laughs) there but I've been enjoying it that's cool we'll have to do an ice cream social yeah uh, on the next time you're back so so uh, what would you like to begin your uh, performance with today I'll start with besame mucho wonderful vamos okay Bésame, bésame mucho Como si fuera esta noche la última vez Bésame, bésame mucho Que tengo miedo tenerte, perderte después. Bésame, bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Bésame, bésame mucho, que tengo miedo tenerte, perderte después. Quiero tenerte muy cerca, mirarme en tus ojos, verte junto a mí. Pienso que tal vez mañana 
Y estaré muy lejos, tan lejos de ti. Bésame, bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Bésame, bésame mucho, que tengo miedo tenerte, perderte después. Bésame, bésame mucho. Como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Bésame, bésame mucho. Que tengo miedo tenerte, perderte después. Bésame, bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Bésame, bésame mucho, que tengo miedo. Tenerte, perderte después. Quiero tenerte muy cerca, mirarme en tus ojos, verte junto a mí. Pienso que tal vez mañana ya estaré muy lejos, tan lejos de ti. Besame. Bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Bésame, bésame mucho, que tengo miedo tenerte perder. Después, que tengo miedo tenerte, perderte después, que tengo miedo tenerte, perderte después. Yeah. Gracias. That was amazing. Amazing. Muy Very bueno. nice. Wow. That wait. I always want to say first, you're getting a lot of love from all over the the country. Oh. Obviously, Salem, Massachusetts, is in the house. Oh have, wow. Uh, Nania Cease is watching, and then oh. we have uh, Stella in New York. Lauren's voice is amazing. Oh, um, thanks. Sending San love Diego. from Long Island, New York. Oh, that's my sister-in-law. So we have San Diego in the house. It's like auntie. Oh, so have so sweet. Chicago representing um, all over the place. So uh, we obviously want to know where you're watching from. And if you do it on the screen, my mom and I will do it. So we got some of this, mom. Some applause. Emojis. We turn emojis into real things. Yes. And we, have some, we have some hearts. We have to get some hearts. <laughs> hearts for Lauren. Greg August is watching, the great bass player. Mm -hmm. Pretend like we're playing the bass. My mom and I are playing the bass for you. <laughs> so a um, lot of love for, um, for Lauren. And if you have a question, let us know in the comments, and we'll try to get Lauren to, uh, Lauren to opine to the comments. My mom, my mom certainly has a question for you. Uh, yeah, Lauren, I just was wondering, what, what is, uh, who is your, who, uh, which artists are your inspiration? Oh, that's a wonderful question, and it's changed over the years. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up listening to a lot of Sarah Vaughan and Billie Holiday mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of Carmen McRae into high school. And I would say now 
my biggest influence is probably Shirley Horn, I would say, hmm. at the moment. But it's always changing, you know, and I've been listening to a lot of Blossom Deary uh, in quarantine. Gotcha, right. gotcha. So, some questions coming in. They want to know, did you learn Spanish before you started like, uh, singing Latin jazz? Or what? Or did you <clears throat> naturally speak Spanish as a native tongue? I, my, my grandfather, my maternal grandfather was born in Panama. And my mother, uh, who's first generation, speaks a bit of Spanish. But I didn't grow up speaking Spanish in the house predominantly. And I think over time, I became more interested in my culture, my different cultures. And I learned more about our family in Panama. And I really started to pursue uh, Latin jazz and really take interest. And of course, I studied uh, in college, it was one of my majors for undergrad uh, at Wheaton. So I studied Hispanic studies as well as music. Gotcha. Let's talk about your uh, latest release. It just came out. Let's put that up on the, sc on the screen, uh, the, the songbook sessions, right? Yes. Tell us about um, the concept behind it and a bit about the production process. You know, I've, I've been writing a lot of original music recently, and I thought it would be nice to revisit standards. We do a lot of shows where it's at least half of the performance is standards, our standards. And uh, I thought, why don't I try recording them again? Because I really hadn't visited that for a few records. And uh, I I got together with Sullivan, who's a musical partner and one of my best friends and like family to me. So, you know, we went through a list of standards that we'd like to check out and see how we interpret them. And we came up uh, with this set. And we also included Eric Wheeler, uh, the wonderful bassist, as well as Alan Maynard. And uh, it's a pleasure working with both of them. Um, we love the artwork on the cover. Who did the mm -hmm. artwork? Oh, one of my absolute favorite artists, Alja Horvat, who was just uh, named uh, 30 Under 30 by Forbes magazine. And I was a fan of her. So we, you know, as you know, as a producer, we recorded this almost maybe over two years ago at this point. But by the time we released the music, uh, we're here and it's only been a few, a few weeks since this record has been out. But I've been a fan of hers uh, for quite some time. I actually discovered her on Instagram. And shortly after that, I started seeing her work everywhere, whether it was uh, in anthropology or Urban Outfitters or Society6. Mm -hmm. And she just really took off. But we developed almost a pen pal relationship online so you know we were interacting with each other but we've never actually met in person so I was really impressed with what she could do with uh, you know pictures and not much to go from and she's I, I have nothing but amazing things to say about her and I'm really happy for her and proud of her as well gotcha some some mother's names are coming in we want to give a shout out to uh, Ian's uh, mother Talitha Darrington uh, we also want to give a shout out to Wendy Morgan's mother, Gloria. Uh, tell us who you want us to, we want to put your mom's name up on the screen. Mm -hmm. So just drop a comment with your mother's name and we'll get it up on the screen so they can be part of the show tonight. Um, can we put up the next slide? Um, I just want to make sure that we, you walk us through some of the songs here and tell us what we can expect on the album. Sure. Uh, I think we do we definitely do our own interpretation of the standards so as you can see we've recorded in english spanish and portuguese uh, i'm not fluent in portuguese at all but i tried my very best and i had some friends who are experts uh, you know give me a few pointers which i greatly appreciated uh, but while we're young is so far seems to be the most popular song so we're grateful for that and it's how you can start it kind of I wanted something that was bright and happy but also a record where I could show my dark side for lack of a better word and the sort of different sides of my personality and character so I think we visit that uh, with the standards great well what can what would you like to play next for us Next, I will play You and the Night and the Music. <clears throat> Excuse me.
You and the night and the music fill me with flaming desire, setting my being completely on fire. You and the night and the music thrill me, but what will be one after the night and the music are done? Until the pale light of dawn and in daylight our hearts will be throbbing good times. Morning will come without warning and take away the stars. If we must live for the moment, love till the moment is through. After the night and the music die, will I have you? You and the night and the music thrill me with flaming desire, setting my being completely on fire. You and the night and the music thrill me, but what will be one after the night and the music are done? Until the pale light of dawn and in daylight our hearts will be throbbing guitars. Morning will come without warning and take away the stars. If we must live for the moment, love till the moment is through. After the night and the music die, will I have you? You and the night and the music fill me with flaming desire, setting my being completely on fire. You and the night and the music thrill me, but what will be one after the night and the music are done? Until the pale light of dawn and in daylight our hearts will be throbbing guitars. Morning will come without warning and take away the stars. If we must live for the moment, love till the moment is through. After the night and the music die, will I have you? Will I have you? Will I have you? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Amazing. <laughs> And that's uh, Nick Tenora, the wonderful Nick Tenora playing guitar. Thank you so much, Nick. Yeah, thank you, Nick. <laughs> thank well, the you. applause is continuing over here in Atlanta. <laughs> we have to do at least 30 seconds of applause <laughs> to make sure that... He deserves more than that. Exactly. Oh, exactly. thank you. So show some love for Lauren Henderson, everyone. <laughs> Tell us where... So here's Maxime in the house. We need some love. <laughs> this is Lauren's premiere her first quarantine yeah, concert yeah this is my first quarantine concert first love so we have some uh camilo in the house of course Aww. joni lee's great artist gorgeous inside and out love the quality of your smoky sultry voice lauren oh, thank you so much great. thank you yeah, thank you so much you want, to, you want to pan applause we'll go like this to the left to the right to the left. I love you, Sarah. To the right. <laughs> oh, baby. <babe. laughs> Thank you. Wow, this is so <laughs> special. This is a warm welcome to the live right. experience. <laughs> the live experience. All right, so um, here we go. 
We, we do have some questions. My mom has a question. My mom always gets the, I know we have questions coming in, but mom has prerogative because she has the microphone. Mom, you have a question there for Laura. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering, what made you start your own record label? That's a wonderful question. Uh, when, I, when I started to get to the level of seeing that I was going to be recording more and more, uh, we started shopping records and we did different things. And I found that, you know, I didn't find anything that I was happy with uh, as far mm -hmm. as uh, a deal. And uh, I wanted to protect my intellectual property. Mm -hmm. And that's always been essential to me. And I think one thing that's really important for artists, especially freelancers, is that you know we may not have a 401k. So what do we have? Right. Uh, and we have our intellectual property and the rights to all of our music. So it was very important to me to uh, protect myself and try to protect others. I had friends who came up to me. I have. I had a background in production, in television production before going into music full time and delving in. And I would have people kind of see me on the side, oh, what do you think about this? Or send me an email or ask me to review a contract. So I said, you know what, why don't I just start my own label? And I got into uh, the program at IE Brown uh, at the time. I thank you, Kabir, for writing one of my letters uh, of recommendation. You didn't need it, but yeah, <laughs> That's welcome. how far we go back. And, uh, you know, it was a wonderful experience, and it really gave me the confidence to pursue the label. So we're just embarking on this journey, and I'm really excited about it. Right. It's, and it's called Brontosaurus Records. The link is there on, on yes. the bottom. There's also merchandise you can get. Brontosaurus Records merchandise. Let's get that up on the screen when we can. Oh, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> and so look at that, Mom. There's some uh, T-shirts. like it, yeah. There's T-shirts. There's the tote bag, which you can take to nice. the Whole Foods and get all the Purells that you want. Yes. Right? right? That's right. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> hope that you can get Lauren, um, how many how many bags, of, how many bottles of Purell do you think fit in one of those? <laughs> oh, at least 50. 50. <laughs> all right. There's all, there's all, if you can find any. Really. <laughs> I, I all, haven't found any since it started. Mm -hmm. but well, I, for everyone <laughs> watching at home, there's only one way to find out if she's correct. So get, get the tote bag <laughs> right. and then see if it'll fill 50 Purells. All right, we have a question coming in from Claudia Miranda. Good question here. When and what was the aha moment in which you realized you had such a wonderful voice and knew this was the path you wanted to travel? Oh, what a, what a kind. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Claudia. Uh, it it was a few different things. So I moved, well, when I was at, when I was an undergrad, I auditioned for a singing group, Voices United to Jam, VUJ, uh, that still exists at Wheaton, uh, and I hope it will when we get back to normal. And I, so I got into the singing group, but I was a very late bloomer. I refused to sing a solo until my senior year of high school. So that's very late. And uh, what happened was I was in choir and the alto section uh, wasn't getting it right. So the choir director got irritated and made all of us sing the part down the line. So when he got to me, he said, why don't you ever audition for any solos or, you know, step forward? And I said, oh, no, I'm, I'm too shy. And then I was forced to do it, and then I kind of liked the response of everybody. So I was like, okay, that's not so bad, so I'll keep trying it. And I went uh, to undergrad, and I saw that people were receptive, but really moving to New York uh, was scary for me because you don't. they say if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere, and it's very competitive. I didn't go to a conservatory like many of my colleagues, so I didn't know what to expect. And I, I really have to thank a, a good friend of mine, Alex Brown, because I knew him at Wheaton and he was sort of my first in in the jazz scene and then uh, I think days after I met Sullivan and Joanna Sternberg and uh, Jesse Simpson and some other people who've been in my life for a long time or appeared on records and other things but uh, it, it's always um, I appreciate the question because you go through all of these hoops and you know you have your first gigs and you have your ups and downs, so it, I'm just happy that people are listening to the music and buying and supporting, so I, I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Um, I'm glad you are. A question here wanting to know, um, are, you, are you planning to, or here we go, 
actually two questions coming in at once. First, what was your favorite song to sing in Voices United to Jam? Oh. Scott Wade. Oh, it's Scott. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what was my favorite song to sing in Voices United to Jam? Hmm. Maybe Silver and Gold. So we would do a mix of R&B and we would do gospel music and all sorts of things. And I really liked uh, Silver and Gold. So I think that was my favorite. Gotcha. Lillian Carrad, will you be touring in the U.S. once the pandemic is over? I hope so. I do. I hope that as soon as it's safe, I can get out to California and spend some time uh, all around. Uh, I was planning to do a tour of the U.S., but everything also got put on hold. So as soon as it's safe, I, w- I would love to scamper about the States. Gotcha. Also tuning in, shout out to you, Mom, Kashi, my sister, your daughter is watching in. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Whole family, oh, thank huh? You, thank watching. You. Hey, Kashi. <laughs> How so, beautiful. <laughs> so um, what would you like to, to sing next, Lauren? Next, I'll do an original. And again, uh, it's Nick Tenora on the guitar, a really good friend of mine uh, based out of Miami. And he comes to New York frequently. Uh, we were supposed to do a show at the Blue Note with a bunch of other great musicians, but I don't, I don't know if that's still going to happen <laughs> in July, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, this one is Arma Me, which I wrote, I guess, over five years ago. And we hope you enjoy it. Corazón que me faltas, ármame. Cada día te niegas librarme. ¿Cómo puedo? Seguir condenada con mi alma todo olvidada en camino intento recordar una vida de tra- Tranquilidad, corazón, que me faltas, ármame, cada día te niegas librarme, corazón, que me faltas. Ármame, cada día te niegas librarme. ¿Cómo puedo seguir condenada con mi alma todo olvidada? En camino intento recordar una vida de tranquilidad. Corazón, que me faltas, ármame. Cada día te niegas librarme, corazón, que me faltas, ármame. Cada día te niegas librarme. Puedo seguir condenada con mi alma todo olvidada. En camino, en 
intento recordar una vida de tranquilidad corazón que me faltas armame cada día te niegas librarme cada día te niegas librarme cada día te niegas librarme So we um, we just started doing this thing, Lauren. On uh, mm -hmm. thank you, um, the audience is very well trained here, as you can see. <laughs> we um, we just started doing this thing here, mm -hmm. where we ask um, ask artists, uh, the audience, what trophy we should give to you after they're particularly moved. And we have two trophies that we give out. We have um, the kitten trophy, uh -huh. and we have the penguin trophy. Oh. And today we'll be presenting you. Based on popular demand, the kitten trophy. Oh, well, that's why don't, we, so why don't we give you the kitten trophy? I think I surprised Sandra, by the way. But you'll see, <laughs> Reggie Matthew was like, wants to give you the kitten trophy. So there's the kitten trophy. So everyone, <laughs> the kitten trophy. Oh my god! Oh, I love that. Oh, so thank you so much. Would you like to make a speech? Well, I'm I'm incredibly honored. Uh, I love cats, actually. And, and dogs. I love both. And uh, this is really a great honor. So thank you so much. I, I'm really speechless. I, I wasn't <laughs> expecting this, actually. <laughs> well, one, one of the, few, one of the uh, rare things that happened on our show is um, the opportunity to mm -hmm. take home uh, both, both trophies. And we were so moved by that that we are going to also present you the Penguin Trophy, too. Oh, my goodness. Double holder of the Penguin and kitten trophy. Thank you. Wow. This is a great honor. Claudia says she looks like the penguin type. She might be allergic to felines. So. <laughs> I could be. <laughs> so I had a cat for many years. And I love penguins. I love penguins and Wallace and Gromit specifically. But <laughs> yeah. Hi, Albin. Thanks, Albin. Albin. <laughs> All the applause. Martha, Martha Moot, the great violist, is tuning oh, in. Thank you. So there you have it. She is oh, the defending, I defending know. champion of the kitten and penguin trophy. So thank thanks you so much. Wow. For tuning in. Um, I also want to ask you. You, know, you, we, you did Arma May. Talk, talk to us um, not just about Arma May, but talk to us about the uh, the songwriting process of w taking an idea and bring it into reality. Walk us through that process for you. Absolutely. And I don't, I, I just have to mention and thank you because as I see the record in front of me, I remember who wrote the liner notes for this and uh, not only but you. So thank you so much for doing that. And, uh, you know, uh, the writing process for this record was very interesting. I basically had a bunch of songs that I put together. I went to Sullivan's place and showed him a lot of the songs and we ran through them. 
we discussed arrangements and what may work. And again, he is often somebody that I take my originals to and kind of, you know, see what he's thinking and if he's digging it and enjoying it at all. And um, it was... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, this record is fun. It, It reminds me format wise of a la madrugada because it's about half originals or maybe less than half originals and half standards and you know you might come up with a bunch of different songs to me they're all different and diverse and have their own personalities so then it's working it in with standards or covers and seeing how those will interact with one another and if it makes a nice collection as an album i think we have your the other album there you just you just referenced it to um, which one is this one? This is your. This is my debut record. Oh, I was a, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is something you would uh, go back and tell your baby self about the music industry that you wish you knew then that you know now? Um, one thing that for my career, which I've been sharing with a lot of people, because I think no matter what your career path is, it's important. But authenticity and being true to yourself and you know, really finding your inner voice, whatever that means to you is essential and imperative. Uh, I think when I first moved to this city, I was so concerned about pleasing other people. And, you know, I would do a gig and say, oh, we want a belter, or we want this, or we want that. And so trying to kind of morph yourself into different things. And if that's not you, that's not you. If you're not a big scatter, if you're not uh, someone who you know belts or does different styles of music and you know where your comfort zone is or what resonates with you personally I think it's so important to stick to those uh, those concepts and those feelings and your identity and I think I had to go through a lot of different things to really tell myself you know what what I like to do is fine and I can do things uh the only thing that I can offer my audience is being true to myself and being authentic and being real and sincere with my delivery. And so what better way to do that through music and, and performing and singing. And I think I would really tell my younger self, just be true to yourself, be confident, uh, and, and push yourself. Wonderful. And an important message for everyone. We would love for you to play one more. Sure, absolutely. Well, I'll do uh, the old Gershwin classic, Summertime. And uh, this is dedicated to all the mothers out there and all of the new mothers. I have a lot of friends who are just welcoming uh, new, new children into the world. So congratulations to all of you or those of you who are getting ready to do so, especially at this time. Summertime And the living is easy Fish are jumping And the cotton is high Oh, your dad is rich And your ma is good looking So hush, baby, don't you cry. One of these mornings, you're gonna rise up singing. Then you'll spread your wings and take to the sky. Till that morning Ain't nothing gonna harm you With daddy and mommy Stand 
stuff in the dining room um we usually present my mom's flower arrangement but because my mother is here she has a very special uh gift for you so maybe you can go get that and while you're watching we have all these great comments coming in um gina kaju in minneapolis beautiful voice oh thank you so donna much. scott uh th i think out in colorado oh, uh thank, thank you, you lauren much. uh beautiful so here we have some very, very fresh Mother's Day flowers for Lauren. Oh, those are lovely. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. The real deal, folks. Lauren is the first recipient of the kitten trophy, the penguin trophy, and now wow. the live flower. Let me take these comments out. Those are gorgeous. <laughs> See? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> you got the, you got them. So, um, well, look, thanks. For, I've always loved Lauren and her music, and she's a dear um, friend, and I hope we can work on something together uh, one of these days soon. Absolutely. Maybe take it in a different direction. Yes. I, so, yes, absolutely. So much, here's Stay a, tuned. Yeah, exactly. So, um. We do have a winner of the day, winner of the day. The word of the day was inspired by Lauren. We'd like to say congratulations to Claudia Miranda, who got the word of the day. You're oh, the holder. Job, Claudia. Yeah, so you are the winner. <laughs> congratulations. Everyone gets a trophy on <laughs> Quarantine Concert Series. So you are the holder of the uh, puppy trophy, Claudia Miranda. You're the defending champion. Can you defend your crown? You have to tune in tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern to find out if Claudia Miranda can defend her crown as the word of the day winner. Oh. All right. So thanks for joining us, Lauren. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Blessings to you. Blessings to you as well. And thank you so much for spending thank your you so Mother's much. Day with me. It was so special. Thank and you. And I'm, I'm you. looking forward to seeing you in person someday very soon. Me I too. Hope. Me I too. Oh, I think I, uh, <laughs> that's thanks to everyone for tuning in. And <laughs> thanks, all. everyone, for tuning in. Uh, let me tell you about um, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yes, we have a great show. Uh, it'll be sort of like a 
synth rock jazz the band called doll shot will be joining us and i also want to say thank you to the great sandra and camilo yeah. let's put their <laughs> website up on the screen uh, soundworksrecording.com they're very kind polite gentle hygienic amazing uh, people <laughs> let me just tell you everyone the first time i did a sound check the artist called me it was sonia de la santos she said uh, Camilo, who I've known for a, a few years now, he is um, he's gonna um, help you with that sound check. And then Camilo took it upon himself to reach out to the next few artists who are gonna be on the show. Oh, I didn't even know it, and Camilo did the sound check, um, like so amazing. proactive. And I was like, uh, Camilo, I didn't even ask you to do it, but thank you for you know doing uh. the sound check. So Camilo and Sandra are here, an hour and a half, ninety minutes before every show helping put the graphic package together, helping do the sound. So I want to you know, congratulate Camila's mother and Sandra's mother for raising just great um, human beings, yeah. sentient beings. So a lot of love for Sandra and Camilo. If you're an artist who needs any kind of um, engineering services, please contact soundworksrecording.com. They have two dogs, Oreo and Maui. If you mention one of the two dogs, you will get a discount. Two whoops for that. Um, you can also come. You can also make a reservation just to pet the dogs. Five dollars per pet. <laughs> PayPal, ACH, uh, Venmo, or Zelle. All right. So keep that in mind. Everyone have a wonderful night. Happy yeah. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank Happy you very Mother's much. Day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, moms everywhere. Good Bye. night. Good night. Bye. Bye.